Hello and welcome back. As many of you know, I love to take out my kayak and make fishing videos inside of it. Now today it's a little bit different because what we're actually looking to do is talk about how I rig up my fishing kayak for a day on the water. So first off, as you all probably notice, I have a Feel Free Lure 11.5. Now this is actually a 2015 model, so it doesn't have all the exact specs as their new ones, but by and large, pretty close. Now the first things that you're gonna notice with this kayak is the seat. The seat is absolutely awesome. It's a gravity seat, it can lift up, it can go down. The thing is, I almost, 95% of the time, I'm fishing with it sitting all the way down. Just because from a wind standpoint, I get caught like crazy and I just get blown around if I'm sitting upright. With that being said, it is very convenient to have that option available. Next thing that I'm gonna do is I just have a milk crate back here, very simple. Um, I've got some like a three rod tube holder and I just basically fix those on there with zip ties. But this gets this carries all the gear that I'm ever gonna need. I'm a very, very much a light tackle kind of guy. I don't bring a lot with me. I don't wanna bring so much that it's just dead weight on my kayak. I try to switch things out. I'm gonna try to make a video on that as well. The next thing you'll see is I have this anchor back here and basically it's just a, a pool noodle around some PVC pipe and then um, a couple of clamps on the sides and then the anchor below. And what that does is it fixes to my anchor trolley system, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, and it gives me the option of anchoring in anywhere from a foot of water all the way to like 25, 30 foot of water. Now the majority of the time when I'm on the water, I'm bringing two to five rods. Um, today I'm only bringing two. More often than not, I'm bringing four or five. Um, but I'm just trying to keep it light today. The other thing is I've got my life jacket back here. There's so much space in this kayak that you can put a lot of gear back here. I'll normally just put my life jacket here. If I decide that it's windy, if there's a lot of pleasure boaters, I'll put it on. If it's kind of just me on the water and it's a smaller body of water, a lot of times I leave it off. Now you should always have one with you and you really should always wear one. So I'm not exactly setting a great example, but regardless, you should always have one with you. So here's my anchor trolley system. And basically all it is is some paracord with a little metal ring on it. You can move it all the way to the front. You can move it all the way to the middle. And then I've got another one back here as well. So I can always position my anchor off of any location within the kayak. Obviously due to the wind and where you're laying out, that's a nice thing to have. Honestly, I don't even really use my anchor that much, but it's always nice to have it. And I really need to start using it more because quite frankly, when you do use it, you probably are setting yourself up for better um, fish catching abilities. Another thing to note here is we've got this, obviously this front storage. I don't tend to use it a lot. I, like I've said in the past, it's like, you know, I pack really light when I'm fishing. I try to keep things as, as light out there and as, as easy on me as possible on the water. So by and large, it's like, I have all this storage. I have such a big kayak. Do I really necessarily need it? Probably not. But the best part about this kayak is the, the fact that I can stand in it. So I guess I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to talk about in today's video, but if you have any questions about my feel free kayak about how I rig it up, how I like to fish in it, little random things, let me know, just drop a comment below. Otherwise, I'm gonna go fishing. I gotta go catch a fish. So uh, I guess we'll catch you next time.